Jupiter's moon, Europa, is a smooth, icy world hiding a vast water ocean beneath its surface. The tiny moon has a blistered surface. These cracks on the surface of Europa are formed due to the tidal forces of Jupiter's mighty gravity. Europa takes about three and a half Earth days to complete one rotation around its axis, which means you'd have sufficient time to explore the icy moon orbiting the largest planet in the solar system. Europa is extremely cold. The average temperature on Europa is about minus 160 degrees Celsius. Also, the moon has a thin oxygen atmosphere, but it is far too tenuous for humans to breathe. The surface of Europa is relatively smoother as compared to most other objects in the solar system. Its surface lacks large craters and mountains. Instead, the surface of Europa is covered with tiny ridges that are no more than a couple meters high. The view from the surface of Europa would be breathtaking. Not only would you see the other 78 moons of Jupiter, but you would also see the mighty gas giant cover a huge portion of the sky. As seen from Europa, Jupiter would appear 24 times larger than what the moon appears in our sky. The gravity on Europa is 13% of Earth's gravity, meaning you can easily hop around and explore the moon in the way you want. Apart from the cold, you'd also need protection from the lethal radiation. Jupiter's powerful magnetosphere constantly showers Europa with deadly radiation. A few other dangers exist on Europa, like frequent ice quakes and tiny meteorites striking its surface due to a lack of atmosphere. You would definitely want to watch out for giant plumes of water that could violently shoot out of the icy surface. Europa is quite unique. Astronomers consider Europa to be one of the most promising candidates in the solar system that could support life. Visiting Europa and spending a day there would make for an amazing experience. Who knows, you might not be the only living creature on the moon during your journey. <laughs>